Look at the official, Jeff. Well, the block in the back made it a good run. He had, uh, Schulenberg had a defense pretty good. They made a good block on our linebacker to keep him out of the play, but the block in the back opened the hole for him to get to gain the extra yards. He would have had a two or three yard gain without the block, but he uh, made a nice substantial gain without it. Uh, you've got to uh, you've got to keep keep your penalties to a minimum if you're Mainer uh, if you want to uh, keep this game your way. Another penalty against the Mustang. They're going to step that one off. 10, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. It'll bring up about a first down and 19. First and 19 for the Maynard Mustangs. 4.05 left, first quarter. Kevin Fishbeck, Jeff Prosco, and Greg Yule on camera. They're on channel 16. 14-7 seven, seven our, our, our score. Maynard on top in the first quarter. Bell will run the option, then pitch it to Williams. Horn defense right there, drop him. Penetration by Shepard and Bezetsny. Tackle made uh, there by Brian Valenzuela. But the, the play that made that was the, the penetration to make Williams slow down. You, uh, we're going to have, they're going to pass. It looks like the, their, their success is going to be in the passing. We've stopped the run the past two weeks pretty successfully. Uh, I, I assume Maynard has watched our films extensively and have learned that, and they're going to throw the ball. They're going to try to keep us off balance a little here and there with their run, but they're going to have to throw, I believe. Motion, right side, single setback. Bell wants to throw, throws it out. It is caught, and a flag will go down, possibly a takedown move. Uh, that looked good on WWF, but not in high school football. As uh, though Paco Valenzuela was tackled from behind, he was. Holding against the Maynard Mustangs. Again, they shoot themselves in the foot. Now, do you decline and make it third and long, or do you make it second and about uh, 27, or third and about 14? I, if I was Hoosman, uh, and I'm not, which, of course, uh, I would take the penalty. The way their kicking game is going, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, a bad kick, a shank of a punt, anything could give us an excellent field position. Get them back as far as they can there, and let's play a ball on their end of the field. The officials are talking it over with Chad Gintert, and it, it, it's not a quick call, not a decline. So, Jeff, you're right on target there. It appears as though the Horns will take the penalty and force Maynard back. They do. And now it brings up second and about 28 yards to go. They have to go all the way in their own territory to the 43. They're back. Oh, they have to go to Shorthorn territory to the 43. They're back in their own territory about the 28. I look for the Maynard Mustangs, second and forever. Bell wants to pass. Here comes a rush sack attack, and then he throws it up, and it's almost caught, and now the flag goes down. Intentional grounding is the call against the Maynard Mustangs, we do think. The horns were right there. Sam Brown was all over him. Intentional grounding. That's a loss of down. It brings up third and, and long. And as we look at the Maynard coaches on the other side, they are way out to the 20-yard line. Again, Coach Rogers and his staff would like to argue the call. Well, uh, as I said before, you can't let them dictate your game. You've got to play your game. You're going to have calls that go both ways. Uh, if you let your kids see that excitement on your end, they're going to in turn turn it, and it's only going to hurt you. It's not going to help you. Now, I look at that call. The man made a great effort to try to come back for the ball, but... They had him wrapped up, and, and to avoid the sack, it appeared though he threw up the prayer. It just so happened that his man made a good, good comeback on the football, but the penalty stands, and it's now third and uh, forever well, for Maynard. Well, in the judgment of the official, he wasn't throwing to the, to the receiver. The receiver just happened to be in the air like you received, like you had mentioned. Uh, he was avoiding the sack. It, it could have been in the grass, possibly. Here's third down and a long way to go for the Maynard Mustangs. Shorthorn's defense needs the hold right here. Here comes the screen, set it up. Williams has it, and he's got some running room. And there's a good block, and he gets tackled. Who made the saving tackle? Bozel stopped him at the 45-yard line. But another flag is down, Jeff. It appears a flag is down in the uh, backfield. The officials will talk, and let's see what the call is. The tackle was made by Adam Bozel. It was a big gain from the 23 up to the 48, 47, a 24-yard gain in a five-yard face mask against the Shorthorns. But, Jeff, it's only five yards. It's still not enough for a first down. But it gives Coach Rogers another option, being at midfield 
Do you punt it away or do you go for it here? Uh, this early in the game and the way Schulenberg's been splitting, I'd punt it. Get him deep in their, uh, in their half of the field. If you don't make it, you're giving them the ball midfield with the chance to strike pretty quick. They're doing that. Uh, it appears as though they will punt the football on third and about se or fourth and about seven. Boy, we have seen a lot here. No, they called him off. And is they're going to go for it. Maynard will go for it. Bell comes out. Donald Bell will bring his team up. Shorthorn fans trying to get excited on this fourth down play. Make sure all receivers are covered. Fourth and seven. Bell will hand it to Williams, and he's not going anywhere but to the ground. That was a third down play. Now they'll punt. Okay. Evidently, on the, uh, the, the face mask, they don't count the uh, down. Now it's fourth down. Okay. We'll get it all straight. It's been one of those games already here, and we haven't even completed the first quarter. Maynard leads 14 to 7, 205 left in the first quarter. And Jackson will go back to receive the punt from Sean Houston. Nice snap. Kick is away. It's a good one. Jackson will field it at the 15. Googing right, being pursued, trying to get away, and will go backwards. So the Shorthorns will start in somewhat of a hole at the 14, 13-yard line with 146 left to go in the uh, first quarter of play. Schillenberg offense, last possession, fumbled the football. Shorthorns trail 14 to 7 here in this first quarter of homecoming 1994. Steven Sarton will lead the troops out. We have a first down. Ball called the 13 yard line. 146 left. First quarter of play. Horns trying to get even with the Maynard Mustangs. They trail 14 7. Jason Houston. Has a hole, closed up, still on his feet. Man is still on his feet, hit from behind. That's the Jason Houston we know so well. Takes it close to the very, to the first down marker. Well, when we were talking earlier about Maynard having a back hard to bring down and hard to tackle. We've got one of our own that they're going to have to contend with. Uh, it's going to be a, a tight battle. We haven't seen their, their running back be able to break a big run yet, but uh, uh, with, with his size and speed we've seen earlier, uh, he's capable at any time. Clock is rolling with a minute 16 left, first quarter. Nine-yard gain for Houston, second and a short one. Sarton, the man under, will turn, give it to David Raines. Raines looking for a block from Houston, got it. Takes the ball to the outside to the 30. Hit up, 35-36. There's an unselfish play. That time, Jason Houston was called upon the block, made a great block. He, uh, David Raines recognized that, cut it outside, and takes it up for a 12-yard gain and a first down. What I like to see also on that play is when he reigns around at the corner, he didn't look for the sidelines. He took the main defender head on it and drove him back, got an extra yard or two. Those yards or two here and there add up big. First and ten horns, 52 seconds remaining in the first quarter. 14-7, Mainer on top. A gain for Houston, or for a Reigns of 12 for the shorthorn first down. And they're back in business with Reigns and Houston again. Two splits out to the right. Sarton will turn, give it to Houston. Looks for a block, can't get it, runs into a pile and is knocked down for a very short gain. A gain of maybe two for Jason. Second down. It'll be second and eight for the uh, Schulenberg Shorthorns. 14 seconds left. We may not get another playoff here in this first quarter. Coach Hoosman taking his time on the sidelines, and we won't. So our first quarter is history. Our score, Schulenberg trailing Maynard. It's the Maynard Mustangs 14 and the Schulenberg Shorthorns 7. Shorthorn football is being brought to you this evening by Diamond S Restaurant, Foxfire Builders, J.O. Renner, 10th Frame Bowling Alley, Autobahn Travel Shop, Emco, Come Check Wagner Insurance Agency, along with Kelly and Doris Sarton. Schulenberg Livestock Auction Incorporated, Zimmerman's Garage, Vernon and Fallen Zimmerman owners, Schulenberg Printing and Office Supplies and Sports Specialties, the Prosky Families, and Dan and Jill Tabor. So the Horns will 
take over with the second down coming, Jeff. Second and eight. Second quarter of play. First quarter in the books. Uh, the big play. The big key for Maynard. Just what Hoosman alluded to earlier. We've got to stop. Uh, we're not by any means out of this game by far, but uh, we've got to get some momentum here going and, and get some consistency on the line play and give Sarton and the rest of the players some time and some room. Sarton wants to pass. Has a man raised. Caught as he is hit at the 43-yard line. Good. Uh, Catch by Reigns, he kept possession and bring up a third and short. A third down call coming for Coach David Hoosman. It'll be third and four. So third and four, another crucial play. The Horns play in their own end of the field. Trailing it 14 to seven here. Homecoming 1994, a lot of activities coming up at the half stay with us we will have it all for you here on channel 16. Maynard defense doing a lot of shifting third and four for the horns Sarton the man under will look for the quick hitch there it is Jamie Jackson got a block from Adams get a block he's got it to the 40 yard line another big block Greg Segura with the block out there you know we, we last week we alluded to that play when these tackles can get out there it's going to go for big yardage. When they're as big as they are, if, if like you alluded, if they can just get the speed enough to get out there and get in front of that receiver, one block is usually all it takes to spring them for enough to get a substantial gain. That's a gain of 17 yards on the pass play. Short runs have it at the 41. First down and 10. 10.45 left. First half. Horns trail it by seven to the Mainer Mustangs. Sarton is your quarterback with Reigns in Houston in the backfield. Jackson here to the right. Quick pitch it to Reigns. Gets a block, cuts it up, and then it gets smothered in the backfield. The man slipped the block. And Young brought him down. Reigns looking for that extra block. Didn't, didn't get it. And he loses a yard. We're seeing more of the Reigns-Houston backfield this evening. Well, Maynard has a lot of speed, a lot of pursuit. Uh, we're going to have to keep a quick backfield back there to try to outrun them, try to get around them and so on. Uh, they look like to be pretty solid in the middle, so we're going to have to get around them and so on. I think that's Hoosman's philosophy. Second and 11, Shorthorns. Ball at their 42-yard line, Maynard territory. Jason Houston has some room, gets outside, almost fell down, gets another block, the 30, dropped the football, but the Horns have it. The Shorthorns come up with it, and let's get the number. It's going to be David Reigns, his running mate. You give the yardage to Jason Houston. Boy, that's a big play. It goes from the 41 up to the 27-yard line. 14-yard carry for Jason. And David Reigns pounced on the loose football. That could have really hurt the Shorthorns. Well, well, coaching has the play in that where you're always on the move. Don't sit back and watch the play. Keep following the play. You never know what's going to happen. A fumble, a pitch back, anything. That's a perfect instance right there where uh, following the play does nothing but good for you. First and 10 horns on the move with 9.25 left in the first half. Ball at the 27 yard line. Sarton has time looking. Now he runs into traffic and he's going to be brought down, but he gains two yards on the play. He was looking for Shromick to cut across. Shromick was, but Sarton did not get that great of a look at him. He will tuck it and run for two yards. And brings up second down and a long seven for the Schulenberg Shorthorns. Homecoming 1994. The uh, big crowd being treated to an outstanding ball game here tonight. Schulenberg on the lower end of the scoreboard with 8.45 to go in the first half. Trailing Maynard 14 to seven. Reigns, Houston, that's the backfield for Stephen Sarton. Sarton will hand it to Houston, looks for a block, cuts it back up, and then gets met and knocked down inside the 20. The block out there provided by Kujay. Also getting outside uh, is Yurik, and now it's a third and three call. Ball is inside the 20 yard line. Actually, we'll call it third and two. It's gonna be a gain of six for Houston. Brings up third down and two for the Shorthorns, ball inside the 20. They need the 18. Well, you've got a power back. You just give it to them, or do you try to run it wide? 
We'll see. Sarton will want to throw. Looking. Has a man. Jackson. Too tall for Jamie Jackson. He was wide open. And Sarton just let him a little too much. Well, you're in two down territory here. Uh, I don't think Manor was expecting the pass there, and he was open. Just a, a tad over bit thrown. Uh, it was a good play, a, a good play, and you might look at that, see that later on in the same situation. Uh, you still got it down here with, with, with two, two and a half yards to go. Uh, it's still a good shot for Schulenberg here. Clock stops, 7.49 left. The Shorthorns will call a timeout. And this is Schulenberg Shorthorn football. So the Shorthorns will uh, look at fourth down and a long two. Reigns and Houston in the backfield for the Shorthorns. Four-man, five-man front now for Maynard. They may have got him to jump in. They get it to Houston. Houston has a first down and more. He's got the 10, the 5. Adios, amigo. Touchdown, Jason Houston. Jason Houston, second TD of the night. Jeff, we thought they might give it to Houston, but what an explosive man. What a big run. Well, they ran to the short side of the field, which I'm sure fooled Maynard. They were going to expect the wide side where he had room to cut and run. An off-balance play where it might have caught Maynard off guard. An excellent, excellent block by the tight end. The receiver on this end is cave it in. Defensive end was totally fooled for Maynard. He come up holding his, his hamstring like he was hurt, but I think that's a sign of getting burnt maybe a little bit. Like toast, it's a 20-yard run uh, for Jason Houston, and the horns are a kick uh, PAT away for, from uh, tying this ball game. Jeff will have some stats on Houston in a moment uh, as we await uh, Barry Shepard to add the extra point. And he does. We've got a good one. 7.42 left, first half. We're knotted up at 14 on Schulenberg Shorthorn football. Jeff, uh, what a, a nice run on the, the great calls we said for Houston. And uh, that's outstanding uh, offensive uh, line production as well. Everybody had a key in that drive. Well, you, you've got you've to think that they were looking for Houston. On a fourth and two, the big man was going to get the ball. An outstanding effort to go 20 yards on a fourth down when, when you know they were keying on you. A, a, a tribute to the line and to the, uh, the, the faith Hoosman has in that line. Shamik will kick it deep. And I think we've got their name, Regulators. The offensive line, the Regulators. That was the uh, winner on the uh, poll that we had from last week. I had numerous calls. Shamik's kick is a short one. It's going to go out of, it's going to go out of bounds. 23-yard line. And let's see if Maynard wants the football or if they want the Shorthorns to kick it again. The decision rests in the hands of Coach Tom Rogers. And it appears as though the Horns will have to kick it again. So they will. They will kick it again. Seven minutes and 42 seconds left here in this first half. Ball game is tied at 14. So we've got a, a good ball game here. We knew it would be a good one. Coming up at, at the half, we'll have the homecoming activities from Shorthorn Stadium tonight as the uh, various uh, homecoming royalty introduced and someone crowns. That's coming up at the half. Stay with us here on Channel 16. Ball will now be kicked from the 35 by Shramik. Back deep, Young. Looks like it'll be Young and Williams back deep for the Manor Mustangs. Here's the kick by Shramik. This time it's a good one. Boots it right away to Williams at the 16. Coming up to the 20, 25, 30. As the team still on his feet. Still on his feet. All the way up to the 43 yard line. Bozel and aiding in on that along with Paco Valenzuela and Brian Valenzuela. Maynard starts out in good position, Jeff. Well, with the explosiveness that Maynard has, you can't afford to give him this good field position. Uh, mistakes are going to be crucial, very crucial tonight. Uh, if, I was, if, if I was kicking, I definitely wouldn't kick to him. He's their hoss back there, and I'd uh, try to keep it out of his hands, whether it be on the ground or something. Last drive, Maynard shot themselves in the foot with numerous penalties. See how they look here. First down and 10, one setback. Bell wants to pass. He will step up, getting some pressure. Throws it out. Shramik is the closest man, and it goes incomplete. 
good pressure there by the uh, defensive front as uh, Paco Valenzuela, one of the many shorthorns who, who forced Bell to step up in the pocket, and he felt very uncomfortable stepping up. I think you're right. I think he's gonna, they're going to have to keep the pressure on him. Don't let him get comfortable back there where he can set his, plant his feet and look for a receiver. If the receiver cut off his route, and he didn't have time to, to catch that, and he had to get rid of it before he felt the heat on his back. Uh, if we can keep that pressure up, it'll be a big plus. If they give the quarterback happy feet, it could be happy days for Schulenberg because he gets to step and gets to moving around. Bell has been ineffective, but if he has time to set up and throw, he can hurt you. A reverse play. Williams is gets away from one and cuts up and then is tackled, and then a flag goes down. We may have a uh, penalty against Maynard. They could wipe out a 10-yard uh, gain for Williams. It was uh, a holding Maynard, another big penalty, or illegal block in the back. Another big penalty, Mustangs shoot themselves in the foot. Well, uh, Schulenberg is, like we talked about before, stops the run pretty regularly. Uh, they're going to have to do some extraordinary things to get Schulenberg back on their heels, and they're, and, and they're getting caught. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is the main reason Schulenberg defense holds what the way they do. If, if you're going to... If you're gonna, uh, have success, you're going to have to make big plays. These, these runs like this, you're going to uh, have a little problem with Schoenberg's defense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. It will bring up second down and uh, about 16. Actually, second and about 17 for the Maynard Mustangs. They're still trying to get their personnel set. Now they are one back and motion. Quarterback rolling bell, looking, throwing. It's caught by Aiding, intercepted. What a great play by Eric A. Jeff, he let his man go just a little bit. He knew he had help in the back, and he stepped in and made a big play. Keep him rolling out. Keep him moving. Don't let him set up. That's going to be the key like we talked about. Don't give him time. Make him run. Make him throw the off-balance throw where he can't get a lot of touch on it. Good things are going to happen. The first turnover toward Maynard is going to be a big one, hopefully. Both teams have... Turn the football over. Eric Aiding, the senior, makes the big interception. And the Horns go back on offense. 39-yard line, first and 10 on the Manor Mustang side of the field with 6.54 left. First half, ball game tied, 14 apiece. Sarton will drop back, looking, throwing. Caught by Jackson, and he falls down. At the 35 gain of four, Jamie had a little room, but he was he was leaning that away. That's a tough play to hold your balance. He did all he could. Well, the defensive end from this side had put some pressure on Sarton where he had to kind of throw around him, couldn't quite get the exact pass he wanted. But it was a, a great fingertip catch going down, possibly, by, uh, by Jackson. Uh, it, a four-yard gain better than an incompletion any day. So it brings up a second down. Second down and... Uh, Six for the horn, 6.15 left, first half, 14 apiece. That's our score at Shorthorn Stadium. Sarton faces a shifting defensive front. Here's a draw to Houston. Houston's got big running room. Stutter steps, gets aside. Look at him go. All the way up to the 23 yard line. It's a gain of 12. Beautiful footwork, beautiful footwork. They're diving at his legs. A big man like that, you're going to have a heck of a time tackling him high. They're going to go at his legs. He keeps those legs shifted and moving in and out of the lineman. But he's a hard man to tackle when he's, when he's got time like that. 11 carries, 100 yards for Houston. Two touchdowns for the All-Stater. Ball is at the 23-yard line. First and 10 horns. Looking to break the 14-14 tie here in the first half. Torrance took a quick lead, but then fell behind 14-7. Reigns and Houston in the backfield. Ball to 23. Sarton wants to throw. Has time. Pumps. Has a man. Jackson is there. See ya. Holy cow. He was so wide open, Jeff. I think I could have got the ball to him. Uh, you and me both. We both were linemen in our days and had stone hands, but I believe we could have had that ball. What a fake by Sarton. He pumped once. Houston, uh, Jackson shook his man off. Little shake and bake. Got into the end zone. It's six on the board. A 23-yard touchdown pass. That's seven for Sarton this year. Five of those to Jamie Jackson. 5.27 left. The Horns will uh, 
try to add the 21st point to the board and make it 21 to 14 as Barry Shepard will uh, attempt the extra point out of the hold of Steven Sarden. Looking for a good snap. There it is. It's down. It's up. It's good. 527 left, first half. Shorthorns 21. Mater Mustangs 14 on Schulenberg Shorthorn football. So Jackson makes the catch, uh, touchdown catch from Sarton. And uh, Jeff, maybe a little revenge for Jamie that time? Uh, it might have been some taunting going on on that, on that pass that he just got to and broke up a, a few series earlier. Uh, you don't get away with that too much. Uh, that pump fake by Sarton was an excellent draw. Left him wide open. Five or six yards with, with the closest man to him. Uh, he just tiptoed right into the end zone with not a man on him. Uh, those things will come back to haunt you. I don't suggest that continued on. Trailing 14-7, the Horns now lead 21-14. Shamick's kick is taken by Williams at the 13. He's explosive. Ginnard has him lined up in a great form tackle by Chad Ginnard. Ginnard and then helps him up, pats him on the back and says, now, big boy, run my way and let's do it all over again. That's a great job. Special teams, Chad is always down there. He's always ready to dance. He's always ready to dance. He, I, Chad's not afraid of anybody, his size or bigger. He's not a, got a lot of meat on those bones, but there's a lot of mean in him. No doubt about it. First and 10 Mustangs. Ball at the 30-yard line. 5.21 left, first half. Schulenberg now on top of the board, 21 to 14. After the fumble or the interception by Eric Aiding. One setback. Williams will set out here as a split end. They may try to get the ball in his hands. No, they'll give it to the first man through. He's matched up and dropped. A tackle made in there by Ricky Hernandez. The ball was uh, given to. Jesse Gomez, a fullback. First time we've seen him carry the ball. I think Coach from Maynard possibly trying to settle his team down a little bit. A lot has happened since it was 14 to 7. Bang, bang, bang. Schulenberg has really uh, stepped up their game, and maybe he's trying to say, hey, let's, let's cut down these mistakes. Uh, let's get back to our game, possibly, and let's grind a little bit with our big men, and, and, and let's get back to a regular game plan. Second down and nine for the Maynard Mustangs. Bell, the men under, will throw the pass out. And the Shorthorn defense converges. Shromick and Chad Ginnert along with Kurt Bezetsny. A short gain by Snowden, gain of three. And now, Jeff, we've got a third down six, a long six, call it actually third and seven. Uh, Maynard can ill afford to give the ball back to the Horns with three, about three and a half minutes left is when they'd get it because you know the Schulenberg Horns can score like that. Just ask Cattlesville. Three plays, three touchdowns. It can happen with all our weapons at any time. Uh, if, if Maynard was wise, I think they'd sit on the ball and try to run some of that clock off there. Third down and long. They will fake it. Bell wants to run. He has got some room. And he gets away from one. Kennard's going to run him down and Bozel, but not before Bell on the bootleg takes it across the 40 to the 43. That's a good call. And it's going to be a gain of nine. He needed seven. He picks up the first down. And the drive's alive with 3.50 left to go. As soon as this, the uh, change is stuck, they'll start the clock. So a third down long play, a gutsy call by Coach Tom Rogers. Well, not a lot of chance in that play. You, the, the one man handling the ball, a lot less chance for fumbles, for anything. He's got good speed. He's a big man. A, a safe call, a good, a good call. Romine comes out. Brian Valenzuela is in. First and 10, Maynard. I look. Split out here to the left. They will hand it to Williams. He gets away from one, then he gets wrapped up as Barry Shepard hit him, along with Eric Aiding, a gain of two. And it's third and uh, second down and eight with 3.10 to go in the first half. 21 to 14, Schulenberg leads Maynard. Stay tuned. We'll have the uh, homecoming activities coming up at the half, along with some various information from around the Schulenberg ISD. Second down and eight, Maynard. One back set. They have a lot of formations. Boy, they will come out in all kinds of looks. Motion, Snowden coming our side. Second and long. Williams is in the block. He went, uh, Bell wants to run. He's in trouble. He's going to fall down. He'll throw the football. And they're going to say his knee was on the ground first. Credit the sack to the black attack. They're going to say his knee was down before he tried to throw it. 
Uh, it would only help you out five more yards. Uh, the big play is the great defensive pressure. Either way, if it wouldn't have been, a, he'd have been down, that would have been uh, intentional grounding. There was no way around it. Uh, the quarterback gets a little scared back there, I believe, when he has to roll out. He didn't, they didn't have a lot of blocking in front of him, and, and he had a little happy feet. And That's going to be the forte of the Schulenburg defense. Keep him moving. Third and long again. Now the clock is rolling, or stays rolling at 2.15 left to go. First half, third down and 19. Third and 19 for the Maynard Mustang. That was a big loss. Gomez, the only setback. Two splits out here to the right, including Williams. They're looking for him across the middle. Now Bell wants to run. Looking for a man to go out. He dumps it off, and nobody's there. And now it's fourth down. So, good play by the Horns. It stops the clock with 153 left. Should get the ball with, with a lot, uh, plenty of time and uh, put the offense in the gear. It looks like he wanted to roll out and try to get some momentum where he had a chance to run or so, but the good containment by the ends and the tackles kept him semi in the pocket and in the back. I don't know if he didn't want the ball, but he kind of faded away from the pass pattern instead of going flat toward the sideline to help his quarterback out. Uh, nice defensive stand by the Schulenberg defense. They needed it. And here is Sean Houston to punt away. Jamie Jackson back at his 35. A good high snap. And Houston will boom it away. Nice spiral away from Jackson. We'll have to run it down and we'll pick it up at the 20. Sets up. He's got a wall of Maynard Mustangs. Gets away 25, 30. Down the sideline, 35 and then out of bounds. And now a flag comes in late. And we'll have to see who it's going to be against. It's right in the area where the tackle was being made. It may go against the horns here with 139 left in the first half. And let's see, the officials say illegal block in the back. Is that a block in the back against the horns? So illegal block in the back by the horns will cost them 10. And Schulenberg will have possession. Still, Jeff, you're, you're okay at the 27 with a minute 39 left. Oh, yeah. If you can just sit on, I don't know. Maynard doesn't have, does the Maynard have any time? They might have one left. They're not going to be able to stop the clock enough to get it back. If we can, uh, I don't know if he's going to try to go for the big plays and, and score again here or, or be satisfied with his, with his, uh, with his score and go into half and man, uh, get ready for the second half. Watch for a hitch screen. Possibly. Let's see. The hit, well, not, not necessarily the hitch and pitch, just the, the quick screen out to uh, Jackson. Or, well, Jackson's not in. It's uh, Adams and uh, Bezetsny. Sarton will give it to Houston. Houston trying to get outside. Got a block. Jason Houston on his feet, carrying men up to the 40-yard line. 